if Johnny had three motherfucking apples and a bitch took two, how many apples Johnny got left? That was the question of the day. He said, that's a reasonable doubt. He said, they over here talking about a damn pool. When, baby, a whole a half hour passed. He said, Tori went to the bus stop. They stopped another time. Then it was a fight. Then he shot the gun. Ain't no DNA on the damn gun. He said, they ain't proved the motherfucking name. He said, it ain't no DNA on that magazine because that's not Tori fucking gun. He said, they trying to botch the investigation and blame it on my client. Not on my motherfucking watch. He said EJ was our witness, by the way. He said, why in the fuck didn't they call EJ to the stand? Why didn't the prosecution, idiot, why didn't the prosecution call EJ to the stand? Y'all didn't want to hear nothing from people y'all ain't have y'all um, under y'all thumb. Y'all didn't know what the fuck them people was going to say. So y'all didn't want to talk to Stalkner because you knew what he had been told. Y'all didn't want to talk to Sean Kelly because you knew what the fuck he had said. And your ass didn't want to bring EJ up there because you didn't know what the fuck he was going to do. But we do know EJ no longer works with Megan. We know Kelsey no longer works with Megan. Bitch, we know a lot of people that was around ain't over there no more. And motherfuckers call themselves coming for EJ and trying to say something to him. Bitch, you wasn't even there. So I'm confused as to why the fuck you even talking. Hold on, let me block you, bitch. Look at you, the Mr. Blessing. So, he said EJ was our witness. And he said that when we don't have a security guard, we protect ourselves. He said EJ saw something that looked like a gun in her bag before and quite possibly saw something that looked like a gun that night. He said he didn't pack her bag, uh, Kelsey's bag. He said Kelsey went to the car and her bag was a bag that was open. She got that gun. He said EJ said that he didn't even like my client at first, but he does now. And he felt safe leaving Megan with him. He said, let's talk about this damn probation. He said, they tried this shit. He said, Tori wasn't on no probation and Tori didn't bribe nobody. He said, they set up and attacked Tori and set up here the whole goddamn time and told you what Megan feels like this and that. Well, I didn't know that the bitch was Mr. Krabs. Do you want to know if I can feel it? Bitch, this is not Nickelodeon and Spongebob is not about to flip a goddamn Krabby Patty. Bitch, ain't nobody asking you how the hell she felt. We asking you about these motherfucking facts. It's a lot of people feeling a lot of ways. What? So then, um, he said, EJ backed up our claims. He said Megan did not want to leave. They said she had EJ move her shit. And it wasn't no evidence and no guns. He said, they up here showing you Instagram posts that ain't even fucking verified. He said, we feel bad that Megan got shot, but that don't mean Tori did it, bitch. <laughs> okay. Um, he went over the gun charge. He said, my client, and recall, the, the um, jury did ask for clarification on this again when they were doing deliberations. He said, my client didn't willfully use a gun. He said, um, in terms of shooting a firearm in a negligent manner, he said, there ain't no damn evidence that my client shot a motherfucking thing. He said, the only proof is that Kelsey did, from what Sean Kelly said. He said, carrying a concealed firearm in a vehicle. They said, they say it was corn gun, but it ain't got uh, no damn DNA on it. They say, EJ said that he saw something like a gun, and Kelsey coincidentally got something out the car. Mm -hmm. He said, keep my challenges in mind. These were his challenges for the rebuttal for the prosecution. Why the fuck did Kelsey want immunity? Why all them changed statements? And why they couldn't prove um, or present the burden of proof, you know, in, in a manner that was sufficient for the situation? He said, it's the D he said, it's the DNA, the testimony, and the immunity. He said, all of that shit is reasonable doubt. And that's how you got to look at it. And he was done. He said, thank you for your time. Shut <laughs> They said, how did Tori have underwear on and no shirt and less gunshot residue on him? So, Kathy Ty, I only wrote one thing that that bitch said. And I'm going to show you one thing. She wasn't resonating with me, bitch. I wanted to take a nap. Uh, the jurors was falling asleep. I, I wasn't feeling nothing that she said. But Kathy Ty said, and this is what I quoted. Megan has to be a sociopath to lie on Tori as a PR move. I would have never said that to that jury because she did lie. She did lie. And that was a PR move. 
You don't want to tell people that you was even having sex with him or that you got into it with Kelsey. That was a PR move. So if you're going to introduce the idea that if she were to lie on him and that would make her a fucking sociopath, well, babe, you, she, then I guess you think she's a sociopath too then. I guess you think that she's a sociopath as well because she did lie to protect her image and that was a PR move. So you think the bitch retarded? Chump.